Hello! How are you? Welcome to Vina Nix single player world. That's right, this is not the normal let's play hardcore world. This is my... this is where I go to just play. As you can see, I didn't spawn in this mushroom biome. If you watched my run throughs of my single player world, this is just where I have... I finally found a mushroom biome. And I'll, I say mushroom biome because they're the most awesome animals ever. They're my favorite. <laughs> they make... You know, it's like, there's no point for pigs anymore. If you have a mushroom. There's... Why would... You, you don't need anything else. You just need a mushroom. But, um... So, yeah. I decided to make this my permanent base on my single player. This is not hardcore. This is just me running around. Being an idiot, trying trying new things. Figured I'd show you around. Um, this is the living quarters. There's my dog. He doesn't have a name, so you guys can name him. This is like the front entrance or whatever. Here's the sort of finished bedroom now. It's, it's pretty spiffy. I like it. Uh, this way, this is the nether room. I'm thinking about, like, you know, totally corrupting this area. Kind of cool. Downstairs is the tree farm. It's changed a little bit. Ooh, kept going there. So, each little section will have a different type of tree. So, let's go this way. Here are my farms. Just, you know, very simple things. I exist on mushroom soup. So, I don't really need pretty much any of this. This is for books. This is for lighting. This is for, you know, whatever. Because, this besides this one torch over here in the corner, it's very well lit, as you can see. I've hidden pumpkins everywhere behind the grass, you know, the leaves. Grass. I wish I had grass. Over here, if I can ever get a silk touch pick, or shovel, or whatever, will be the animal farms. Mushrooms on one side, sheep in the other, chickens right here. I kind of like, didn't quite count it out, so it's a little uneven, sorry for all you OCD people, but it's pretty. It's gonna lag. There we go. And of course, in here is the storage and everything else room. This side is storage. I think I've showed this off before. This will be the enchanting slash library. There you go. If you want lower levels, you can stick it right there. Yeah. This will be the alchemy lab. And I haven't done much to these yet because I'm waiting on colored wool. But I need a silk touch something for grass blocks. Because otherwise I'm not I'm gonna have to do that breeding thing and I, I refuse to do that. Since I'm here. Give me some food. Nope, nope, nope. They almost escaped. But, yep, this is where I'm doing most of my work now. Oh. E. Okay. I turned around backwards. Or something. Whatever. Um, I really like this room. Took a lot of time. But down here is my mine slash entrance to the gigantic cave system that I found. I'm just, you know, this is strip mining. I have so much of this, and I don't use it. <laughs> I really need to learn how to do redstone. But, uh, yeah. And way back here is the fuck off cave. Here's a spider spawner. 
I was going to attempt to turn it into a mob system, but then I learned that spiders don't swim up. And I don't really know how to make a good elevator system for them, so I was like, fuck it. Go the long way around. So, this cave, I have not explored it all yet. It goes that way and around and loops up and goes this way and loops around and loops up and but up here is my zombie spawner thing that's the shortcut right. I think my problem is with this I don't get very good rates over here at all uh, I do have work I need this. My brain's not functioning today. But, uh, see right here. Ah! Why did I jump? But as you can see, the spawner's right here. And I figured as long as I'm not, if I'm a little bit off that 8x8 eight eight area, that they should be fine, but they, I think it's still too close because the most I can get in this area is around like 10 zombies and that's it. And I have lit the crap out of this area. I'm gonna take one of these helmets. I'm naked. That's a little better, but uh, so Oop, that's one area where I get my experience. Did not realize I was so hungry. But, I found another area. And I'll show you that. I mean, there, this, this whole, uh, it seems like this whole mushroom biome is riddled with mineshaft. And it's... I get so lost, I have to keep making ways up, to <laughs> just so I can get out, basically, but yeah. Th this is probably like the worst spiral staircase ever, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I have a quick way down, but not a quick way up. Oh well. <laughs> so, over here. We have to leave again. Uh, it's night time. Do I care? No. Mobs don't spawn in mycelium. Haha. <laughs> Love that. But they're here. And you can actually kind of hear it right now. Yes. It's a elevator thing, but it's a skeleton one. I was, I came upon this cave area, right? And I was like, well, this is it. It's just a room. So I started to dig down in this corner. Bam. I hit a skeleton spawner. What's up, guy? You missed. <laughs> And also a fuck off cave system as well that links back. So, I have this little, I know that's really weird and multicolored and, but this is where I've been getting my experience and I shall never want for arrows again. But they didn't. I get really good rates here, but my problem is if I throw a uh, splash health potion at them it only kills like maybe one or two it doesn't kill them all and I'm not quite sure why that is but yeah so <sighs> silk touch when will you be mine I've tried four different times all on picks because a good pick is awesome you know it can do anything. And then back down we go. 
I love running around in this place, it's fun to me. I ran out of steam. But over here. Bam. That was a low level, so I'm not too worried about this, but that's a good pick. That really is a good pick. That's also a good pick. And that's also a good pick. You just I need a silk touch driving me crazy. I just want grass. I want grass blocks. <laughs> I can extend this out, and I probably will have to, but, and I have these guys, wow, that was a lot of lag, like, teleported me, I have these guys down here, because I'm just going to kill them, for substance and feathers, it was going to be for feathers until I found the zombie spawner so they're not gonna live much longer and uh, not zombie spawner skeleton spawner oi but yep yeah, that's where I, this is what I've been doing with my free time when I'm not recording this is where I play but uh, I guess I'll see you guys later Ta-ta for now.